All right, guys. So, all right. So, as you know, um, I had some problems out on the trail with a steering knuckle or steering arm. So, we're going to reinforce that today. Um, also, I had a user ask me about the throttle cable. All right. So. I did the same thing down here with the brake assembly off a bicycle that everybody else has done. Okay. And then on my twin right here, um, it came with, let's see if I can block some of that sunlight. Oh, that's perfect. Is a hole on this side for the throttle cable which should go there and then goes in here to this little block here that's got 8,000 holes in it okay so that's the way I have it hooked up right now um, that could be changing here in the future because I have another assembly right here where that can that cable can bolt in and that'll allow me to go right to the back here right to the carburetor itself because um, being hooked up down here, it doesn't get its full range of RPMs, um, but I can hook it up up here and still leave the governor intact but get more RPMs out of it. So that's how the throttle cable is hooked up. So now down here, this is the, the arm that we had trouble, I had trouble with bending on me. We had to bend this up out on the trail. So what I've done... I've taken some angle iron and I've ground just the right amount of space out of it so that it will fit around this spacer here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to weld it here and here and I'm going to weld it to this spacer right here. Because all that is is just a spacer. It don't do anything. All the welds for the spindle are on the top. So that's how we're going to solve that problem. Okay, so there you have it. All welded up in there. I melted that plastic bush in a little bit, but I'm okay with that because they're getting replaced this weekend before the next romp. So uh, there you go. We'll have to see how that holds up.